Yo, so in this video I'm going to show you how to find super interested people to target using Facebook ads and it's going to be able to save you wasting your money by sending uh, poor quality traffic to your offers or just trying to send people to your offers and maybe people just not going to come because you're not targeting the, the, the best interest on Facebook to get the right people to your offer. And this works perfect for uh, especially cold offers. So if this is your first time sending or trying to target people for an offer and it's going to be completely cold to traffic, then this is going to give you uh, the best chance possible to get that right foot forward uh, and sending the best people to your offer. So look, I have felt the pain of uh, trying to launch ads, just keep just getting poor results, poor click-through rates, high cost per clicks, you know, low relevancy scores, and that is down to the interest that I've tried to target. Now I've got a nice little trick that I'm going to share with you and it's called the but no one else would trick and this is a really good method like I said for especially cold traffic so people who've never seen you before, never seen your offer and uh, whether that's e-commerce or any kind of offer this is going to work perfect for cold traffic. So without further ado let's get straight into it and uh, I'm going to show you the but no one else would trick. Yo, so we're now inside my computer and I'm going to show you the but no one else would trick. This is super uh, uh, powerful method which is going to get you super targeted people for uh, you know for your interest targeting on Facebook whether you're doing e-commerce or whether you're promoting any kind of uh, offer you want to be able to target the right people and the more targeted they are the higher the click-through rate and uh, the more uh, just the more better they are uh, in terms of are they going to convert are they going to be uh, you know more likely to uh, take up your offer or whatever it is that you've uh, got going on so once you use this trick then you're going to be able to build a custom audience quicker of much more targeted people and this is going to bring your cost per click down a lot lower and it's just going to help you convert uh, on your offer whether like I said that's e-commerce or whatever else that is. So let's get into it. How do you actually do this trick? So the reason it's called the but no one else would trick is you're going to target people that uh, you know an enthusiast would know but no one else would. So that's where this comes from. So let's zoom this up a little bit. So we're gonna, in this example, I'm gonna talk about, say you had some kind of MMA related offer. So some people would literally just go in and type in MMA intersected with Conor McGregor, uh, intersected with UFC, and literally everyone knows who UFC is. Everyone knows who Conor McGregor is, because Con Conor McGregor is like a famous person now. He's a celebrity, he's not just a, uh, an MMA fighter, literally nearly everyone in uh, on the planet probably knows who Conor McGregor is or, or you know, a massive percentage because he's famous now. So uh, so this is where most people go wrong and it works in, uh, you know, in all markets. People seem to uh, target uh, just much too broad famous people because they think that, uh, you know, it's going to be good. So for instance, you might uh, say you were targeting a boxing a, a boxing product, for instance, you might target uh, Mike Tyson or or, uh, or you know just or Floyd Mayweather or someone like these are famous celebrities, but they're not really people that uh, you know. This is people everyone would know. So you want to find the people, but no one else would know unless you are an enthusiast. So let's show you. So we're going to go and do this now. So so you put your target market. So say we're doing MMA. So you put a your target market enthusiast would know who or what. XYZ is but no one else would so if you're an MMA enthusiast you're gonna you're gonna know who maybe Sergio Pettis is and honestly I do not know who that is if you're an MMA uh, enthusiast you may know who this is but no one else would and the reason I put him down because I don't know who he is I like watching a little bit of MMA obviously I know Conor McGregor and all that you know the the main people but I don't know people further down the ranks up and coming fighters maybe people who are ranked 50th pound for pound I think this is where I got him I think he's like 47th ranked pound for pound so unless you were a real MMA enthusiast and you knew all the fighters you loved watching it you were subscribed to their channel you watch all the fights all that kind of stuff then you're not going to know who that person is is. So Brian Ortega is uh, he's a bit more well known. So maybe if you're a casual MMA, uh, you know so you like watching it. You maybe watch the odd few fights and stuff like that. You may know who someone like that is. But then Conor McGregor, 
anyone, even if they're non-MMA related, will know who he is. So this works with whatever market you're in. So you could say fishing, for instance, or uh, or let's say golfing. You might say Tiger Woods is a non-MMA target because he's just a well-known uh, celebrity now. So everyone knows who he is. But then there might be someone who's uh, maybe famous or, or a world star, but maybe only someone who who watches golf might know who that is. And then you've got the real uh, golf enthusiasts who may know who only certain people are because they're very, uh, you know, like not very well known. So look, this is is an example how it looks. So you've got the, the people who uh, anyone would know. Then you've got the people who are into the, uh, you know, your market would know. But then you've got the real, like the dedicated enthusiasts would only know this group in the middle. So Sergio... Uh, Pettis, like I said, I don't even know if I'm saying his name right, but you get the point. And I'm going to show you actually how to do this in a sec. And look, this trick applies like, across the board, a uh, board across the board, uh, whether it comes to like influencers, events, magazines, and all this kind of stuff. So you could just say a um, a beauty enthusiast would read X Y Z magazine, but no one else would. So you wouldn't put something famous like Vogue because everyone knows who Vogue is, somehow you might be uh, linked to that because you might have just seen an article or just seen someone on Facebook and had a look at it, but you might not be into beauty. So you really want to find a real niche targeted magazine maybe that no one else would know unless you are, uh, you know, a real enthusiast or... Um, or like you could use it as a person or a conference. Say you were into marketing, you could say like only uh, a, a in a, an online market, an online market would attend the uh, social media summit or conference, but no one else would. So, so you know you get you get the point. And then like here we could go at all. So say you were into uh, online, uh, or you're into Shopify or or dropshipping or whatever. You could put a uh, a dropshipper would use the Dropify tool, but no one else would. Do you know what I mean? So everyone might know who, what Shopify is because, uh, or, or a lot of people might know what Shopify is because that's what you can build a platform on and there's a lot of people who have websites, but only someone really who drop ships would use Dropify. So that is how you would narrow it down even further. So when you start using these really, really targeted people uh, and targeted tools, interest magazines, whatever it is from the real center, which no one else would know unless you were a super targeted enthusiast or uh, you know someone who's very into what it is that you're trying to target then then you don't want to really be going for these outside ones so if you try this in your next target so whether you're targeting say a cat product you know this is just an example don't just target cats intersect with uh, maybe like some kind of a cat major big cat store like, or pet city or whatever it is some kind of big pet store it's just going to be too broad and uh, it's not really going to work. So you really want to be able to target down. And I'm guilty of doing this in the past. And that's why in the past I've had poor results on certain ads because I've been doing it that way. And obviously as I progressed and learned a bit more, then obviously I've learned this stuff. So let me actually go over anyway to Google and just show you quickly what I'm on about. So we're back here at Google. So let's go into the boxing um, example. Or no, MMA example. MMA fighters 2000. And 18. Let's go to that. So we're going to go here. MMA fight schedules. Duh, 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 duh. Let's go pack list of current rankings. Let's go to rankings. So if we go on the rankings here. So literally, you could these here at the top. Conor McGregor. People are going to know who he is. Oops. You got Conor McGregor. You. Everyone's going to know him. Uh, Daniel Cormier. That's how you say it. He might be more than uh, someone who's casual, watches a bit. You know, Tony Ferguson, uh, Khabib. Obviously, people are going to know who he is in a minute because of what's going on with him and Conor McGregor. So these are people maybe just in the mid-range, just a little bit of a casual. But then you might have someone here like uh, Olka Sazaki. Like, unless you are really into... Uh, uh, MMA, you probably are only going to know that person unless you're really, like I said, really into it. If you're just a casual or someone who doesn't even watch MMA, you're probably gonna not going to know who these bottom guys are. Do you know what I mean? And uh, so this is a, a nice little way to do that. So just go and you can type in. Let's do golf um, golfers. List of golfers. Let's have a look. So let's have a look. List of or golf rankings actually golfer uh, rankings 2018 so let's have a look official 
ranking. So maybe uh, these people up the top say, I don't know nothing about golf, but I would know who um, Tiger Woods is. Do you know what I mean? So he's someone like, he's a celebrity. So just because he's a golfer, you would definitely not target that person if, uh, you know, because everyone can know who he is. Maybe these people around the top, maybe this is someone who's into golf, watches the, the, the you know, the whatever you call the golfing things, whatever, but the, the competitions, they might know the top 10 if they're casuals but then you might have these uh you know a lot further down you might end up knowing these people or maybe famous golfers from maybe like 30 40 years ago who'd won it a while back maybe then you'd be an enthusiast because you know people who'd won it maybe 15 20 years ago so that's just how you want to really get the, the the things the targets the interest the magazines whatever it is for people only you would know but no one else would know or the, the enthusiasts would know but no one else would so let's uh, do last one last example fishing um uh champions champions fishing champions i thought it'd give me a list list let's have a list um bum 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 T top 20 base anglers of all time so here we go literally i don't have a clue about any of these but maybe certain ones of these if you've done your research you'd find ones here which uh, are literally going to be more for the the enthusiast so literally I, i'll give you an example is someone might be uh, a casual person who understands fishing rods and uh, and base fishing and stuff like that so that maybe you might you know someone might know what base angling is or whatever if they were a casual and they may do that but they might not know these guys here i mean roland martin he was well look at this he's he was well whatever he's from i don't know if he's from uh quite a long time ago because it was in black and white so it might be uh you know he might be really uh you know an old fishing expert so you get the point anyway like i don't want to keep going over but you just get the point you need to find these these uh famous or, or magazines or niche things that only the expert or the um the uh the person very interested in that topic or interest would know about but no one else would so i hope that makes sense i'm gonna switch out of my computer right now so there you have it i hope you enjoyed the but no one else would trick hope you're gonna use it let me know how you get on with it and if you want to download that sheet that was going off there's a few more little extras on there as well as a bonus you can get that just go to isallenyoung.com forward slash targeting and uh and you can uh, go and download that just put your email in you'll be able to download it and then I'll, uh, and I'll send it to you straight away or you can go and link in the description it's up to you whatever way you want to do it put it in the browser or click the link in the description but either way go and get a copy if you do want that and please hit subscribe if we're not friends yet drop a like if this video is helpful and i'll see you in the next video